Hey, Collective. How you doing? Good to see you. I'm Kat, and I'm going to do um, a reading for you guys. This is just a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, if it's not for you, don't try to make it fit. Um, there's plenty of other readers, plenty of other videos that you can watch of mine as well um, that could help you at this time. Okay, so we are just going to see what really comes out. Okay, so let's see. What's your emotional... What's going on emotionally for the collective spirit? What's going on emotionally for the collective? Show me. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys, we have overwhelmed. Okay, you're swamped, right? You got a lot going on, a lot on your plate. And then peaceful so calm serene things like that okay so I feel like what it is at this time you guys want peace right some of you guys could be thinking about vacation here you know being by the water watching the water things like that some of you might want to go fishing go sailing right um we are approaching summertime and um you know just kind of relaxing I'm also seeing a hammock. Some of you guys may like hammocks. But you got a lot going on, right? There's a lot that you need to get done. There's a lot that you're working on. You're just overwhelmed. It could be family matters, you know, household chores, things like that. You know, doing the laundry, fixing the door, the doorknob, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, trying to make sure the plants are watered, things like that. The kids are fed. You know, the uh, oil in your car has been changed, you know, that kind of thing. And still making money at the same time. So, just a lot going on, right? Um, people calling. You've got to communicate. It's just a lot. And what you're looking for is this. See, there's two different, that's two different types of energy. So, Spirit is saying, yeah, perhaps a vacation would be good for you guys at this time. Okay, I would agree. Okay. So, plan that vacation. Go on that vacation. Um, yeah, so let's see what else comes out. So emotionally overwhelmed, right? But here we go. Happiness, success, and fame. So some of you guys are going to be really recognized for something that you do, something that you've, um, you know, been working on here. There's a lot of success and happiness and whatever endeavor this is, it could be career, family, you know, we see success in so many different ways. Some of us could become famous, right, um, or be well known, okay, you could be someone that is well known. But, happiness is here though, right, and that's, that's the best thing here, happiness. So, um, some of you guys are, you know, this is something that you're trying to achieve, you're trying to achieve your happiness, you're trying to... You know, what is success for you guys? You know, what is going to make you happy when it comes to success? Um, but, yeah, some of this is just predicting that this is what is on the way, which is beautiful. You know, it is happiness, success, or even fame here. So, let's see. Let's get some tea leaves. Now I want to pull one of these. I'm going to pull Spirit will let me know when it's too much. Sometimes I tend to pull too much. Okay. So, give me some more for the collective. What is it that they need to know in this time? At this time, when they view this message, this video, what is it that they need to know? Okay. So, we have self-esteem. We have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Wow. So some of you guys um, possess gifts, right? From the soul that benefits others. So things that, you know, some of you guys could be teachers. Some of you guys could be caregivers. Some of you guys could be spiritualists, right? Whatever it is that you do, whatever your gift is, because we all have gifts, right? I feel like you guys are utilizing them at this time. You're really using it, and it's helping others. It's benefiting others. And imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So some of you guys are very creative, and you guys can 
um, benefit others through your creation, right? So that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some tea leaves. Let's get some tea leaves here. What does the collective need to know? Okay, one more. What does the collective need to know at this time, Spirit? It's a mountain road. You're on the road to success. Wow. So, okay, success and success here. So, we put those two together. I love when Spirit does that. So, success and success here. Okay, anything else? So, leg. Stepping into a new experience. So, I love that. We have hat. You will be playing a different role. Huh. And then we have wind chimes. Peace and harmony. So, I love that. So, peaceful, right? Peace and harmony here. Peace and harmony. I feel like that's what you guys want. You just want peace and harmony at this time. This peace. Peacock. Beware of great pride. So, yeah. So, we just need to be careful here. Um, collective of, you know, letting pride get in our way or being too prideful. I think, you know, some pride is healthy, right? But we can be too prideful or let pride get in the way. Some of you guys could be sending, somebody could be sending you flowers, or you could be thinking about sending someone flowers. So let's see. Need some work for the collective. Need some work for the collective. Okay, so we have Apple. I wanted to say April when I first seen it. So temptation will test you. And frying pan. So you have trouble and accusations. So with trouble and accusations, like be careful of that. And just don't let pride get in our way. Don't be so prideful. Like we can, um, like I feel like you can overcome this. But tempta temptation will test you here. All right, so let's clarify some of these. Let's clarify some of these. So you're on the road to success, okay? Some of you guys, even fame, okay? We have happiness. Some of you guys are well on your way there. Um, you have been, um, you will be playing a different role. I'm hearing many hats, so, so some of you guys wear many hats, but this is a role maybe that you're unfamiliar with or a role that you have played before you will be playing. Not so much that you're playing, I don't get. I just feel like you're just going to be wearing a different hat. It's a new perspective, new person, a new person. You will be playing a different role. So, let's see. Who's this? Tell me about... So, whatever this success is, whatever road you've been going, whatever mountain you've been climbing, right? You will be playing a different role. It's going to cause you to have to step into a different role. Something, um, yeah, so what's, what's going on? It's part of your success, though. Yeah, the will of fortune, yeah. This is something that the divine has given you. This is, um, this is happening all within the divine timing. Okay, this is good luck. This is spinning the will in your favor. Yeah, the high priestess. So it's like intuitively you know this is going to happen. Or intuitively, like, you, and you could just be keeping quiet about this. Or spirit is saying be quiet about this at this time. Okay, whatever success this is. Some of you are very spiritual, right? And you're using your gifts probably in a spiritual sense in some way. What is this will of fortune? This is something that is destined to happen, right? This is destiny. This is something that is meant for you. So this success, 
is for you, right? Yeah, it's something you've been waiting on. It's like I've done the work and I'm waiting for the ships to come in. Um, you could have uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn in your chart. You don't have to. You also got Sagittarius. But, yeah, you've been waiting for this collective. It's like you've done the work. And you've just been waiting. And, and you know, the divine is now here to deliver it for you. Okay, this is beautiful. I love this. So, stepping into a new experience. Yeah, this goes along with, you know, wearing a different hat. Moving into your success. Okay. Um, so, stepping into a, a new experience. It's going to be totally different. This is like, you know, stepping on new grounds here. Um, something totally different. It's a new experience. Something you've never experienced before. Hence the word new. It's something you've never experienced before. And with this comes peace and harmony. With this comes peace and harmony. And I feel like that is exactly what y'all have been seeking. So I don't really feel like I need to clarify that. So let's go. So beware of pride. Okay, let's do this. Temptation will test you. What is this about for the collective spirit? The hanged man and the moon. Page of swords. So... Someone, you or someone at this time could be watching. Um, you know, someone could be watching you, trying to gain information on you, um, collective, or you're doing this to someone, okay? And you're doing it in secret or you don't know about it, okay? Or this person doesn't know that you're doing this, right? But you're just trying to gain information. You're trying to gain a new perspective, Let's see, give me one on this hanged man. What is this hanged man? Seven of Pentacles. So this temptation, is it something that you want to put your time in? Is it something, is someone waiting? Is someone waiting for the right time? Because you're going to be tempted by something. What is it that you're going to be tempted by, though? A reconciliation, maybe, with someone? Going out with friends? Or um, could it be, like, something within the friend group? Or something that's going to tempt you. Um, but there's fear around it. There's fear I feel like collective, you're going to hold back from this because, yeah, I think you're, you know that, you know, this possibly could cause heartache, right? This could be a temptation from another. You could already be involved with someone because, and the reason why I'm saying that, I see the three of cups and the three of swords, okay? So, and I feel like you're going to refrain from that. You're going to hold back. Someone could be coming back because we have judgment here. Someone could be coming back from the past. Yeah, oh God, I just said, excuse me. I just seen that, Six of Cups, yeah. So someone definitely could be coming back from the past um, that caused you great pain, okay? And you're going to be tempted to go back to this person is what I'm feeling. You're going to be tempted to go back to the situation. Um... But I think you're going to take the time out, right? The time out to to and kind of analyze it, right? Gain more information, you know, or even watch this person to see if it's something that you want to invest your time in anymore. Because there's a lot of fear here, and this person caused a lot of um, heartbreak um, and sadness for you. So um, the, I definitely feel like somebody wants to come back though to you, and. Yeah, from your past. They're, they're very nostalgic about you. They view you as, you know, family. They wish fulfillment, right? Um, they've done some healing or know that you have. And, and you did bring happiness to this person. And to be with you would bring this person happiness. 
But, yeah, and it's going to tempt you. And the only reason why I feel like someone else is involved, of course, because of seeing the threes. But not only that, I feel like someone else is because it's temptation. Two. So, and it's a test. Temptation will test you. So, um, Spirit is, you know, is kind of seeing how far you came, right? Do you know your worth now? Um, do you know what it is that you need to do? You know, when it comes to this individual or situations like this that you've perhaps had in the past, right? So, just be careful with that, okay? I feel like you are. I feel like it's going to kind of put you at a standstill and you're just going to wait and, um, and see and kind of, you know, go through your emotions, right? And that's okay. It's okay. Because there's fear around this person because this person did cause you a great deal of pain, right? A great deal of pain. And I think when you think back on this person, you might have good memories, but you also have the memories that, that made you very um, sad as well. So... Beware of pride and trouble, accusations. What is those troubles and accusations? Let's just be care, uh, be careful of um, great pride. Let's just know that. That's a warning from spirit here. But what is this trouble and accusations? What is this about for the collective? What is this about for the collective? Trouble and accusations. What is this about? Someone could be accusing you of something. Same taken then. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Hermit, the Emperor, and the Six of Swords. So I feel like someone could be accusing you of something here, collective. And like I said, you can reverse the roles, but this could be um, someone's coming towards you. Um, speaking some kind of truth or, you know, um, cause the Ace of Swords is like, it's also, it's a new beginning. That's a new beginning when it comes to truth. Like someone wants to be honest with you is what I'm hearing. Someone wants to be honest with you, but you have, um, yeah, you're gaining wisdom. It, this could be an Aries, a Virgo. Who else do we have out here? There's a Pisces, Cancer, um, fixed signs. Okay. So, someone has went within and has gained the truth about something. So, they're going to make a stance here. And they want to try to make amends. So, with this trouble and accusation, I feel like that this is something that is going to be resolved and it's going to be resolved easily. And why I'm saying that is because I feel like someone here is going to speak the truth that they've gained knowledge on. Okay, someone's going to speak the truth that they've gained knowledge on and they're going to take a stance here and say, okay, the Six of Swords, let's move this. Let's, let's, because after, you know, you have the Five of Swords, then you have the Six of Swords. So that's, you know, the Five of Swords is drama, chaos, conflict. Um, gossip, things like that, winning at all costs, no matter what. So it's like, okay, so we've been through that, so let's move on from this. So whatever collective someone has tried to accuse you of or cause trouble in your life for, they, um, I see you moving past this. Okay, you're moving past it. You're no longer going to engage with it. I do see a communication with someone, okay, like, you know, standing up for yourself and, and like speaking your truth, right? And, and sharing your wisdom, shining that light on the truth. Whatever these accusations were, whatever this trouble time was, someone trying to, you know, cause trouble or what have you. Yeah, you're definitely moving away from that. You're definitely moving away from it. So that's beautiful. So, um, collective, this was a lot, but this was a lot of good stuff. I really like it. So I definitely would claim this um, reading. Because a lot of beautiful things here. And um, yeah, I hope you just enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.